Population Aging, Wikipedia Article Audio Population aging is an increasing median age in the population of a region due to declining fertility rates and slash or rising life expectancy. Most countries have rising life expectancy and an aging population. This is the case for every country in the world except the 18 countries designated as demographic outliers by the UN. The aged population is currently at its highest level in human history. The UN predicts the rate of population aging in the 21st century will exceed that of the previous century. The number of people aged 60 years and over has tripled since 1950 reaching 600 million in 2000 and surpassing 700 million in 2006. It is projected that the combined senior and geriatric population will reach 2.1 billion by 2050. Countries vary significantly in terms of the degree and pace of aging, and the UN expects populations that began aging later will have less time to adapt to its implications. Population aging is a shift in the distribution of a country's population towards older ages. This is usually reflected in an increase in the population's mean and median ages, a decline in the proportion of the population composed of children, and a rise in the proportion of the population composed of elderly. Population aging is widespread across the world. It is most advanced in the most highly developed countries, but it is growing faster in less developed regions, which means that older persons will be increasingly concentrated in the less developed regions of the world. The Oxford Institute of Population Aging, however, concluded that population aging has slowed considerably in Europe and will have the greatest future impact in Asia especially as Asia is in stage 5 of the demographic transition model. Overview Aging around the world Among the countries currently classified by the United Nations as more developed, the overall median age rose from 28 in 1950 to 40 in 2010, and is forecast to rise to 44 by 2050. The corresponding figures for the world as a whole are 24 in 1950, 29 in 2010, and 36 in 2050. For the less developed regions, the median age will go from 26 in 2010 to 35 in 2050. Population aging arises from two demographic effects, increasing longevity and declining fertility. An increase in longevity raises the average age of the population by increasing the numbers of surviving older people. A decline in fertility reduces the number of babies, and as the effect continues, the numbers of younger people in general also reduce. Of these two forces, it is declining fertility that is the largest contributor to population aging in the world today. More specifically, it is the large decline in the overall fertility rate over the last half century that is primarily responsible for the population aging in the world's most developed countries. Because many developing countries are going through faster fertility transitions, they will experience even faster population aging than the currently developed countries in the future. The rate at which the population ages is likely to increase over the next three decades, however, few countries know whether their older populations are living the extra years of life in good or poor health. A compression of morbidity would imply reduced disability in old age, whereas an expansion would see an increase in poor health with increased longevity. Another option has been posed for a situation of dynamic equilibrium. This is crucial information for governments if the limits of lifespan continue to increase indefinitely, as some researchers believe it will. The World Health Organization's suite of household health studies is working to provide the needed health and well-being evidence, including 
for example the World Health Survey, and the study on global aging and adult health. These surveys cover 308,000 respondents aged 18 plus years and 81,000 aged 50 plus years from 70 countries. The Global Aging Survey, Exploring Attitudes, Expectations and Behaviors Towards Later Life and Retirement, directed by George Leeson, and covering 44,000 people aged 40 80 in 24 countries from across the globe has revealed that many people are now fully aware of the aging of the world's population and the implications which this will have on their lives and the lives of their children and grandchildren. Canada has the highest per capita immigration rate in the world, partly to counter population aging. The C. D. Howe Institute a conservative think tank, has suggested that immigration cannot be used as a viable mean for countering population aging. This conclusion is also seen in the work of other scholars. Demographers Peter MacDonald and Rebecca Kippen comment, s fertility sinks further below replacement level, increasingly higher levels of annual net migration will be required to maintain a target of even zero population growth. Well-being and social policies The world's older population is growing dramatically. Asia and Europe are the two regions where a significant number of countries face population aging in the near future. Within 20 years many countries in these regions will face a situation where the largest population cohort will be those over 65 and average age approach 50 years old. The Oxford Institute of Population Aging is an institution looking at global population aging. Its research reveals that many of the views of global aging are based on myths and that there will be considerable opportunities for the world as its population matures. The Institute's director, Professor Sarah Harper highlights in her book Aging Societies the implications for work, families, health, education, and technology of the aging of the world's population. Most of the developed countries now have sub-replacement fertility levels, and population growth now depends largely on immigration together with population momentum which arises from previous large generations now enjoying longer life expectancy. Of the roughly 150,000 people who die each day across the globe, about two-thirds 100,000 per day die of age-related causes. In industrialized nations, the proportion is much higher, reaching 90%. The economic effects of an aging population are considerable. Older people have higher accumulated savings per head than younger people, but spend less on consumer goods. Depending on the age ranges at which the changes occur, an aging population may thus result in lower interest rates and the economic benefits of lower inflation. Because elderly people are more inflation-averse, Countries with more elderly tend to exhibit lower inflation rates. Some economists see advantages in such changes, notably the opportunity to progress automation and technological development without causing unemployment. They emphasize a shift from GDP to personal well-being. However, population aging also increases some categories of expenditure including some met from public finances. The largest area of expenditure in many countries is now health care, whose cost is likely to increase dramatically as populations age. This would present governments with hard choices between higher taxes, including a possible reweighing of tax from earnings to consumption, and a reduced government role in providing health care. However, Recent studies in some countries demonstrate the dramatic rising costs of healthcare are more attributable to rising drug and doctor costs, and higher use of diagnostic testing by all age groups, and not to the aging population as is often claimed. Additional References
The second largest expenditure of most governments is education and these expenses will tend to fall with an aging population, especially as fewer young people would probably continue into tertiary education as they would be in demand as part of the workforce. Social security systems have also begun to experience problems. Earlier defined benefit pension systems are experiencing sustainability problems due to the increased longevity. The extension of the pension period was not paired with an extension of the active labor period or a rise in pension contributions, resulting in a decline of replacement ratios. The expectation of continuing population aging prompts questions about welfare states' capacity to meet the needs of their population. In the early 2000s, the World Health Organization set up guidelines to encourage active aging and to help local governments address the challenges of an aging population with regard to urbanization, housing, transportation, social participation, health services, etc. Local governments are well positioned to meet the needs of local, smaller populations, but as their resources vary from one to another, the greater responsibility on local governments is likely to increase inequalities. In Canada, the most fortunate and healthier elders tend to live in more prosperous cities offering a wide range of services, whereas the less fortunate don't have access to the same level of resources. Private residences for the elderly also provide many services related to health and social participation on site however they are not accessible to the less fortunate. Also, the environmental gerontology indicates the importance of the environment in active aging. In fact, promoting good environments in aging can improve health and quality of life, as well as reduce the problems of disability and dependence, and, in general, social spending and health spending. An aging population may provide incentive for technological progress, as some hypothesize the effect of a shrinking workforce may be offset by technological unemployment or productivity gains. Generally in West Africa and specifically in Ghana, social policy implications of demographic aging are multidimensional. Current policies on aging in Ghana seem to be disjointed in which there are ideas on documents on how we can improve policies in population aging, however these ideas are yet to be concretely implemented perhaps due to many arguments for example that older people are only a small proportion of the population. Due to the aging population, globally, many countries seem to be increasing the age for old age security from 60 to 65 to decrease the cost of the scheme of the GDP. Age discrimination can be defined as the systematic and institutionalized denial of the rights of older people on the basis of their age by individuals, groups, organizations, and institutions. Some of this abuse can be a result of ignorance, thoughtlessness, prejudice, and stereotyping. Forms of discrimination economic accessibility, social accessibility, temporal accessibility, and administrative accessibility. In the majority of the countries worldwide, particularly countries in Africa, older people are typically the poorest members of the social spectrum, living below the poverty line. 